This is Chris McDaniels. Like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe above the channel Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris McDaniels. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. It will be down there in the description box. And I am here to do my WWE NXT October 1st, 2024 reviews. So here we go discussing about tonight's episode of NXT. Now they did debut on the CW tonight. And they got some big matches for tonight, actually, where one of the first big matches is happening at the start of the show. But before we talk about that match, we got to talk about something else. So, yeah, Shawn Michaels came out there, and then he was, uh, they tells everybody, they got some words to say. And then all of a sudden, he gets interrupted by Triple H saying, are you ready? And then uh, Shawn Michaels looks, and it was like, well, are y'all ready? And yeah, everybody was ready. And then all of a sudden, Shawn Michaels says that, uh, you know, since they are only a new network now, that they're going to have to have some new titles. So they revealed, like, some new titles. Like, I think it's the NXT Women's Championship and stuff like that. New title designs. So, yeah, that's what they did there, which was pretty cool. But then we get to the first match of the night. It was the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez, versus Julia 101 for the NXT Women's Championship. Now, this match, it was a really good match. Both of these women were beating the hell out of each other in this match, going back and forth and everything. We had seen, like, a nice butterfly superplex from Julia onto Roxanne uh, off the top turnbuckle, and she got the bridge as well with the pin only getting a two count they kept on trading submission moves at one point in this match um roxanne was trying to hit pop rocks uh julia stand back up grabs roxanne tries to pin her for a back slide but roxanne quickly rolled out of it but she was still on her knees and then julia hits a knee to the face on her she pins roxanne one two roxanne barely kicked out at two but then roxanne starts coming back kicking julia in the stomach and then she hits pop rocks onto julia but then julia rolls out of the ring and you know roxanne was trying to grab her but she couldn't grab her but then she roxanne was like halfway out of the ring so julia grabs onto roxanne hitting a northern light bomb onto uh roxanne perez outside of the ring well both of them was about to get counted out and both of them barely made it back in the ring by the count of nine but then Roxanne rolls back out of the ring. She walks around the ring, grabbing the NXT Women's Championship, getting into the ring. It looks like she's trying to hit Julia with the title, but the referee is distracted by that. So she's trying to pull. So the referee's trying to pull the title out of Roxanne's hands. But then all of a sudden we see somebody running down with a hoodie on and all that, pulling Julia out of the ring, hitting a Future Shock DDT onto uh, Julia outside of the ring, the double hook darn DDT onto her. And then she throws uh, Julia back into the ring. And then that's when Roxanne hits a second Pop Rocks onto Julia, pinning her for the one, two, three. So, yeah, Roxanne Perez defeated Julia tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match to retain her NXT Women's Championship. But then, after the match ended, that person revealed themselves, and it was Cora Jade. So, yeah, Cora Jade has finally made her return back to NXT and yeah, she laid out Julia tonight. Uh, and like she's aligning herself back with Roxanne Perez. But yeah, that's what happened there. Cora J returns and Roxanne defeats Julia to retain her NXT Women's Championship. That's what happened. Great match show to kick off the show right there. Uh, for that match, I'll give it four stars. That's why I'll give it. it was a great one right there. But yeah, there's still more matches to come later on tonight. The NXT Championship match later on and much more. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So the next thing to happen on NXT. Now before we talk about the next match of the night, which was a street fight, we got to talk about a few segments that happened before this match. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. Now we've seen the NXT General Manager Ava talking to CM Punk backstage. And CM Punk was talking about how he's going to make sure that he counts us down the middle and everything with the Ethan Page and Trick Williams NXT title match later on tonight in the main event. So yeah, that's what CM Punk was saying there. And then after that, we see Jada Parker talking to Lola Vice and uh, Jada Parker was talking about pretty much telling Lola Vice to stay in her lane and Lola Vice was talking about how Jada Parker needs to mind her own business to stay in her lane and stuff like that. So they're kind of button heads right there. But yeah, then we get to the next match of the night. It was Wesley versus Zachary Wentz 
in a street fight. So yeah, we get to this match, and this match, it was a really good one. Both of these guys beating the hell out of each other, obviously fast pace and everything. Use a hell of weapons, kendo sticks, trash cans, tables, uh, chairs, all that stuff. So yeah, that's what they was using in this match. They both go through this like piece of wood. At one point during this match, going flying off the ring apron and stuff. Uh, both of them coming up near falls a lot of times in this match. Um, you know, uh, Zachary puts like a trash can over Wes's head and starts hitting him with a kendo stick and all that stuff. But then Zachary Wynn starts taking control of this match because at one point uh, there was a trash can actually over uh, Wesley's head and, you know, Wes was like laying down on his back on the mat and Zachary climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with a massive swanton bomb onto him with the trash can over his head and Wes barely kicked out a two. Well, then after that move, uh, Wes, I mean, Zachary was trying to hit his finisher move, uh, that overboard RKO type move onto uh Wes well when he jumped up onto the top rope and this ain't Wes's fault or pretty much nobody's fault it was accidental uh now the spot was going to be like uh you know Zachary jumping onto the top rope and Wes pushing him and you know Zachary goes through a table well that happens and he pushes Zach off the top rope and Zachary overshoots the table and goes flying and crashing down onto the floor Hitting the hell out of his back. I know it knocked the wind out of him. He looked like he was hurting. The referee had to be checking on him and all that stuff. So that happened there. And then Wes almost picked up the win at one point. But doing a double foot stump to the back while Zachary was like laying across the steel chair and stuff. But then he places Zachary onto the steel chair and let, like got him sitting on the steel chair. And then that's when Wes grabs a chain and starts beating uh, Zachary upside the head with it. And then he climbs up the second turnbuckle, wraps the chain around his knees, and jumps off with a double knees of Meteora onto Zachary Wentz, pinning him for the three count. So, yeah, uh, Wesley defeated Zachary Wentz tonight in a street fight. That's what happened. Great match, though, for that match. I'll give it four and a half stars. I'll give it four stars as well. Give it. it was a great match between those two guys right there. So, yeah, uh, NXT on the CW, going pretty damn good. I like it. But yeah, that's what happened there. Great match. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on NXT. Up next, it'll be Miz TV. Miz hosting uh, Miz TV up next. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So the next thing to happen on NXT, we get to the next segment of the night where we see the Miz hosting Miz TV tonight with a special guest, the NXT North American Champion. Oba Femi, Oba Femi comes out, and then after that, Miz introduces Tony D'Angelo. Tony D'Angelo actually comes out with uh, Stax, Channing Stax, Lorenzo, uh, Luca Crucifino, and Adriana Rizzo, uh, the D'Angelo family. But Tony D'Angelo tells them to stay back. So they do stay back. They go backstage. So yeah, Tony D'Angelo comes to the ring alone, and then they ended up talking. And uh, yeah, Oba Femi was talking about how Tony D'Angelo is scared of him and all that stuff and you know that Tony D'Angelo admitted that he was afraid of Oba Femi so yeah that's what Oba Femi was talking about and he says that pretty much the same thing is going to happen next week on NXT just like what happened at No Mercy where he beats Tony D'Angelo to retain his NXT North American Championship and then Tony D'Angelo was talking about how he's not afraid of Oba Femi anymore how he overcame it and all that stuff and that uh, he will be the one to defeat Oba Femi and become the new NXT North American champion. And they was going back and forth and stuff. Oba Femi was talking about how there ain't going to be nobody by his side. But um, he says that Stax ain't going to be there. That Luca Crucifino's not going to be there. Or, or Rizzo's going to be there. So yeah, that's what Oba Femi was talking about. And he says that nobody's going to be there for Tony D'Angelo. And he says that he can he, see the fear and Tony D'Angelo, and that's what's going to cost him the match next week on NXT. And Tony D'Angelo tells Oba Femi that he is just a man, and Oba Femi was like, I'm not just any man, pretty much. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, pretty good promos between Tony D'Angelo and Oba Femi. It was good to hype up their match for next week on NXT. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that, we see Cora J backstage, and she ends up talking talking about her return tonight on NXT, and then Roxanne Perez comes up, 
telling Cora Jade that, you know, uh, pretty much that they pretty much got a common enemy and all that. So, yeah, that's what she was saying there. Uh, but, yeah, that's what happened there. But up next, we're going to be seeing Jada Parker and uh, Lola Vice taking on Fatal Influence, two members of them, up next on NXT. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So, the next thing that happened on NXT, we get to the next match of the night. It was Lola Vice and Jada Parker versus JC Jane and Fallon Henley with Jasmine Nix at ringside fatal influence in a tag team match so yeah that's what this match is all about and we had the NXT women's North American champion Kelani Jordan on commentary for this match in this match it was a good one it was decent and all that uh there was a bunch of miscommunication between Lola Vice and Jada Parker like at one point Jada Parker was about to tag in Lola Vice but then she sees JC Jane coming in illegally uh getting into the ring and coming up to attack jada parker but lola vice quickly got in getting a super kick onto uh jc jane kind of pissed off jada parker after that and then at one point uh jada parker like uh she was extending her hand out for a tag from lola vice and then all of a sudden jasmine nick starts just just starts distracting uh jada parker at one point and jada parker had her back turned on the ring apron and all that and then that's when we see uh i think it was Fallon Henley, i think it was or jc j1 the two that pushed lola vice into uh jada parker knocking parker off the ring apron and parker looks at lola vice and she says you know what screw this crap and then she walks out on her tag team partner but lola vice kept on trying to do everything that she could do to try to pick up the win uh beating down both jc jane and fallon henley but the numbers was too much they started beating her down they uh got tagged in they both hit their tag team finish move the pretty much jc jane hitting like a random knee and fallon henley hitting like a single leg drop kick at the same exact time on to lola vice pinning her for the three count so yeah uh fatal influence defeated jada parker and lola vice tonight in a tag team match that's what happened there but then after the match ended JC Jane grabs the mic and she tells Kalani Jordan, how about she gets into the ring and, or she's pretty much scared of her, pretty much. So yeah, that's what he was saying there. And Kalani Jordan was talking about how she's not scared of them at all. It's just the numbers and all that, but she says that she didn't come to Chicago all alone. And then all of a sudden, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill, comes walking out, getting into the ring, going at it with Fade Away Influence, beating them down and all that. Bianca hitting a spine buster onto JC Jane. Uh, we see Jay Cargill hitting a uh, fall away slam onto uh, Fallon Henley, taking her out. And then we see uh, Kalani Jordan hitting a double drop kick onto Fallon Henley and JC Jane knocking them both out the ring. And then Kalani Jordan, uh, Jay Cargill, and Bianca Belair standing tall inside the ring. But yeah, that's what happened there. For the match, what happened after the match, I'll give it all two and a half stars. That's why I'll give that. But yeah, that's what happened there. But next, we'll be seeing uh, Javon Evans addressing, um, you know, the fans and all that about his match next week on NXT against Randy Orton. So yeah, that'll be up next. And still to come later on tonight in the main event, it will be the NXT champion, Ethan Page versus Trick Williams 101 with CM Punk as the special guest referee in the main event for tonight's NXT for the NXT Championship. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So the next thing to happen on NXT. Now before we talk about the main event, we got to talk about a few things that actually happen. So yeah, we see Javon Evans talking about his match against Randy Orton next week on NXT, talking about how he always looked up Randy Orton. And, you know, he's always been an idol to him and all that. But he says that he is going to be the one to defeat Randy Orton next week on NXT. Uh, and then Orton pretty much was talking about how, you know, he can hit the RKO in so many ways. And he's going to see how he can hit the RKO on Javon, Javon Evans. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Uh, but, yeah, that's what Orton was saying there. Pretty good stuff. But then we see at one point, I forgot to mention this during the show, actually, when we actually see Nathan Fraser Axiom playing uh wwe 2k24 where he was playing as themselves against uh a town down under and they were somehow they gotta get along and make sure that they can keep the nxt tag team championships and make sure that a town down under don't defeat them because they don't want to lose the titles again so yeah that's what they, they were saying there but then after that we finally get to the main event it was the nxt champion 
Ethan Page versus Trick Williams 101 for the NXT Championship and CM Punk was the special guest referee for this match. This was the main event for tonight's episode of NXT. So yeah, we get to this match. And this match, it was a really good match. Both of these guys beating the hell out of each other. At one point, uh, you know, Ethan Page kept on trying to roll up Trick Williams and try to cheat and all that by putting his feet on the ropes. CM Punk called him out for it, and he kept on getting in Punk's face the majority of the time in this match. Uh, they go outside of the ring, him and Trick, and, you know, Ethan Page starts beating down Trick outside of the ring, picks him up, and then he hits the ego's edge onto Trick Williams through the announce table at one point, throws him back into the ring at one point. Ethan Page picks up Trick, but Trick pushes him away, and then he hits the Trick shot onto Ethan Page. Trick falls down after he hits that move, and then Ethan Page bounces off the ropes, collapsing on to Trick Williams, and then he pins Trick one, two, Trick barely kicks out at two. And then it starts going back and forth after that, uh, and then Ethan Page starts beating down Trick once again, because Trick will try to hit the Trick shot again, but Ethan Page moves out of the way, and Trick hits his knee onto the turnbuckles and stuff, and then Ethan Page starts beating him down. He uh, actually starts taunting CM Punk at one point. He picks up Trick Williams up on his shoulders, and then Ethan Page has to go to sleep onto Trick Williams, mocking CM Punk. He pins Trick one, two, Trick barely kicks out at two. And then after that happens, Ethan Page gets pissed off. He picks up uh, Trick Williams, tries to hit the Ego's Edge onto Trick again, but Trick bites off and got off his shoulders, uh, coming close to Punk and stuff, and Punk turns around into the corner and all that. Uh, Ethan Page runs to Trick, but Trick moves out of the way. Ethan Page hits the corner, and then that's when Trick Williams hits the Trick shot onto Ethan Page, and then he pins uh, Ethan for the one two three so yeah trick williams defeated ethan page tonight for the nxt championship so yeah trick williams is the new nxt champion that's what happened uh he got some new nxt championship design pretty cool and all that and then uh confetti was falling down for trick and all that and then after all that ethan page got back up at one point arguing with punk and then punk grabs him and he has to go to sleep on to ethan page laying him out so yeah that's what sam punk does laying out Ethan Page, but yeah, uh, good match, what happened after the match was all great and all that, I'll give it all four stars as well, I'll give it, I'll say that was possibly match of the night right there, uh, actually all the matches tonight was pretty good, the street fight was good, the NXT Women's Championship match was good, and this match was as well, so yeah, tonight's NXT, it was a great show, I'll give it nine stars as well, I'll give it, it was a great show, I liked it, uh, next week on NXT is going to be a big one, Sexy Red is on NXT, I don't really care for her, but she did good last time she was on NXT. But let's see what she does next week. I think she does a performance next week on NXT as well. And not only that, we'll see Javon Evans taking on Randy Orton. The NXT Tag Team Titles is on the line. The NXT North American Championship is on the line. There's a six-woman tag team match next week as well and much more. But yeah, that's been my NXT reviews. Like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris McDaniels, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks, I'll be down there in the description box, and I'll see you guys later for tomorrow night's AEW Dynamite reviews, I'll be talking about Dynamite tomorrow night, I'll be having my bad blood predictions up on Thursday, possibly, and I'll be doing my Friday Night Smackdown reviews on Friday, and bad blood reviews on saturday so yeah look out for all of that um i know i haven't been talking about nxt lately but i'm trying to jump back onto it talking about the weekly shows but yeah uh great show tonight like i said nine and nine stars that's why i'll give it nine out of ten it was a great show but yeah i'll see you guys later till then